It might have been a franchise-changing kind of win. Left side of a God, God, God! St. Jones catches it! The two-point conversion is good! Jacksonville is taking the lead! The comeback. Right side, Jamal Agnew into the end zone, touchdown! The clutch plays. That ball is caught! Caught! Caught for the touchdown! The emotion. The stones on that guy's head. <laughs> I would die for Doug Peterson, I swear. (laughs) I would run into battle with Doug Peterson, 100%. I love the guy. It was a big win for the Jags and all of Jacksonville. I need one. I need a new ball here, guys. Ready for one, two, three. (laughs) Proud of you guys. From your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields Auto Group. Never pay over MSRP. Oh, that's off the top of the head. It's all good. You call my number, and in those times, I'm going to get that. Just big for our team. Like I said, this team hasn't quit. You know, we've had some adversity this season, and just to see the, the continuous trust and Oh, what a Sunday it was in Jacksonville for those guys in that locker room and for everybody in the River City getting to celebrate a big W over the Baltimore Ravens. Andrew Winger, part of the conversation. (laughs) Sounds like we're at the bank. Hey, does it sound a little bit like it did after that two-point conversion, baby? <laughs> yeah, close to it. Close to it. <laughs> hey, Brent Martino, Jeff Lagerman, Josh Allen, our host, Trevor Lawrence, needs no introduction, of course. Welcome to Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group. Good to have everybody out here. And Josh, what a win, huh? You've been around here a bit. This one feels a little different. It feels like the start of something special. All right, so... Before we get started talking about football, so do you guys coordinate what you wear or what? Great minds think alike, you know. Or did did, did your wives dress you tonight? I was about to put those. I was about to put our wives must have talked or something, laid it out. (laughs) Crazy. All right, let's check out our Baptist Health game-changing moments right off the rip, and we begin with a big defensive play in that fourth quarter, which was monumental for the Jags. Andrew Winger, Josh Allen, big play, right? I mean, that's, that situation right there, that's the plays that we've been talking about all year that we need to make. And for him to come out there at that situation from kickoff, running down the field, stopping them at the five, four-yard line, to coming out next play, getting that, it was just the swing of the momentum of the game was just going in our favor, bro. Trevor and them handled business, man, and we just, we just rolled out. But that was a spark. Yeah, great angle, great awareness there by Dewey, just uh, really changing the course of his angle and the awareness to get that ball out and to give the offense the ball at the, at the plus 16. That's big time. All right, let's go right to the end. Baptist Health game-changing moments continue, and here's where it gets real fun. Trevor Lawrence to Marvin Jones is where we go, and we know what this play looks like. It's in the corner there, and, uh, well, you've seen it a million times. What a catch by Marvin, right? Yeah, I mean, I've seen seen Marvin do that a, a thousand times whether it's practice and games I mean we've thrown this same go go ball on the right side of the field for touchdowns three or four times the past couple years and um, just give give him a give him a chance and he's gonna go up and make a play and that's the type of player he is I love the play call here Trevor because if it's not there you can throw it out of bounds and it's a minimal risk the placed clock is, uh, is still going the game clock is still going you trust Marvin Jones Jr. maybe like no other receiver. You throw to him on fourth down, and here you throw to him here in the goal line at a critical moment. It's got to have a pretty good feeling to trust a guy like that. No doubt. I mean, I think that goes back, you know, playing together for two years now. Um, we just kind of have that connection, that trust, that chemistry, you know, and I have that with other guys too. But just a guy when all else fails, when everything's even, he's going to go make a play. And got a lot of faith in him. And he's just shown to do that time and time again. And that was a play, actually, you know, for the touchdown. Instead of going up and clocking it, it takes the same amount of time, but it gives you a shot 
to score on it. So instead of going up there, clocking it, trying to get everybody set, you might as well just give, give yourself an extra shot at the end zone. So it worked out perfect. Well, and you did that. And talk about trust. Zay Jones was a guy he trusted on Sunday. Baptist Health game-changing moments continue in the two-point conversion. I mean, you guys practiced this way back in Atlanta. The story came out this week. And now you get to pull it out of the playbook. Yeah, we've been. This is a play we've been repping a lot, um, and Zay's kind of kind of been our guy for it. Done a really good job, and I think every time we've ran it, pretty much we've hit it. So felt great about it. Haven't really needed it in a situation like this yet, but I'm glad we glad we hadn't used it yet and had it in our back pocket because we needed it in this one. Well, let's talk more about the fourth quarter in general, Jeff and Josh. I mean, you're watching. You guys are doing the job on defense. You bend but don't break. We're going to get into that. But watching Trevor and the offense execute at the level they did from your vantage point, and then you watch it back on film a little bit, how fun was that and how much hope does that give you guys going forward? I think uh, from the beginning of that drive, I think it was just everything was, was meant to happen. You know, and that's a great thing about our locker room. I think we have that trust on both sides of the ball to where it's like, they're going to get it done. You know, uh, defensively, we feel like we could have played the finish part a little bit better, but we knew offense going out there, they're going to handle their job. Let's not, you know what I'm saying? It's going it's, it's to come down to the last play of the game. And we waited to the last play of the game. We made the plays that we needed. We had support. We love those guys. We're here to support those guys just like they are for us. And, whew. Great, great win. <laughs> and I'm sure it felt great for, for you guys defensively because, you know, you could end up giving up the go-ahead score there in the fourth quarter. But none of this happens, Trevor, unless the defense in the early part of the ball game has such a good red zone presence and no is doubt. forcing yeah. the Ravens to kick field goals early on when you guys were still trying to get your footing underneath of you. And that's the thing. You look at the game, I mean, offensively, had a great we had a great fourth quarter and cut spurts throughout the game but really the defense kept us in the game I mean there was what they kicked four field goals throughout I mean if those are if two of those or one of those a touchdown the game's completely different and um, just doing what it takes to keep us in the game and that's what was cool it was such a complimentary game you know the defense held the whole game in the red zone and then at the end of the game we had to go win it and we knew what we had to do and honestly when they scored um, that was kind of not the worst case scenario for us because it gave us a lot of time. You know, they could have possibly ran the clock all the way down and then we're left with no time and they kick a field goal. So it, we weren't too upset on the sideline. When they scored, we are like, all right, here we go. We got two minutes to go make something happen. Yeah, if they were going to do it, do it quickly. But I thought at the end of the ball game, the comfort that you're having in this offense and that the comfort that you're having with Doug's system has to help at this point because last year, completely different system this year. Is that comfort starting to settle in? Yeah, I feel really good. Um, just the, the system, the guys around me, um, really everybody. I, the way our defense, our team's playing together right now, it all goes hand in hand. But yeah, to your point, I feel really comfortable in the system. I feel like all the nuances and the chemistry with my wide outs and running backs, all those things are really syncing up. And I think you've seen that the last few weeks. Were you in the zone in that fourth quarter, that proverbial zone that athletes get in? Because yeah, 100%. There were, there was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of good throws, man. It had to be. It's, you know, it's what the situation called for, and that's what we taught you know, me and Press after the game. He was like, man, you were, you were on fire in the fourth quarter. And that's what, you know, they just put the ball in my hands, trusted me. And that was the cool thing about just this season and that game is offensively and defensively, we've both been in situations to go win the game, and we've come up that short. And just the trust that we've had through it all, and um, we were able to get it done, so it was awesome. Uh, what, what I love about the way you guys have been playing lately, first of all, you guys have been in nearly every game with the exception of Kansas City, which was a 10-point score. How important has it been to have Doug Peterson's consistency and calmness and steadiness at the helm? He doesn't freak. We don't freak out. You know, he's a, he's a, he leads us the right way, and uh, we go the way our leader teaches us, and it shows us the way. You know, he's been in that situation many times, and for us to be in that situation, let's just breathe one game at a time. We can do this. We believe, in, we believe that we can do it, and now we just got to go out there and play. All right, hey, we're going to take a break here at String Sports Brewery. Look at this crowd here gathered. They think everybody's fired up about the Jacksonville Jaguars. Josh Allen, that defense gets a big one against Detroit. But we go to the film room. How good were some of these plays, especially one early on? Jeff takes us there with the head coach when we come back from String Sports Brewery, Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group. Hey, we do this each and every Thursday. Come on out each and every Thursday night. We'll be right back. 
Jaguars All Access is brought to you by Fields Auto Group, including Land Rover Jacksonville. Test drive the Land Rover Defender today. LandRoverJacksonville.com. Baptist Health, changing health care for good. Fanatics, officially licensed everything. And TIAA Bank, created to serve, built to perform. All that on the ball is saying the truth. Two on the ball, three on the ball, over every time. They might, they might sit it down off you if your leverage is good, but that's all saying the truth. Third down, bro. We got him where we want to go. That's Andre Cisco mic'd up. More of that on the YouTube channel for the Jacksonville Jaguars and, of course, Jaguars.com each and every week. And if you haven't checked out the sounds of the game, you really should out there as well. Check out String Sports Brewery. I mean, how fun is this here on a Thursday night? Jaguars 4-7, and seven, still very much in the mix of this going on to Detroit. We'll talk about the Lions in a moment. Brent Morton, Jeff Lagerman, Josh Allen, Trevor Lawrence, Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group, and I got a feeling you're going to dissect the play of his in the film. <laughs> oh, ab- absolutely, and, and one of my favorite plays in the ball game because Travis Etienne goes down in the ball game, so Jermichael Hasty has to step into his shoes. In a 28-yard touchdown catch to the soft spot was perfect. Let's take a look. Trevor drops the throw. Look. Fires downfield. That's Hasty along the right sideline. Jamichael Hasty touchdown. Jaguars from 28 yards out. We were trying to bait this guy who we know, Marcus, Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters. He's a solid corner, but he's he's a guesser, right? And he likes to kind of take chances from time to time and if you watch him on tape he's he's kind of working inside like hey all right 22 you're going to motion back into the backfield right. you know like most teams do but we didn't and one thing i like about this what he did is he really took an outside right on his outside shoulder of this db and then just got width right up the sideline on this particular play and we ran just a quick little out route we're trying to tie down this corner mm-hmm. and try to thread the ball between the safety and the db which we did heck of a throw heck of a catch in the end zone for the touchdown Trevor, from talking with Doug, he said that this play was originally designed for Travis. But he goes down early in the ball game with an injury. How important is it for guys sometimes to really take the mental reps and for you to just trust them? Because in that situation, he hasn't had a lot of reps at that. Yeah, I mean, you, you just never know what's going to happen in the game. You never know who's going to be in that spot. We talk about that, especially with receivers. But obviously, in this this case backs as well as you, you never know what's going to happen in a game your number can be called and if you don't know for one you're, you're playing for your job you're playing for your future as well but if you don't know the play you're going to cost the team and so that's what we always talk think of we, we teach concepts and all that so everyone should know every spot it doesn't matter we should put you wherever and you can run that route at any different spot you know Just one last comment about the conversation that I have with Doug when I have conversations about plays with him they almost know exactly what the defenses are going to be doing. How impressive is it to you as a quarterback that they're preparing you to know what the ex- what's going to happen in a ball game? Just, it's been great. You know, our process, the way we prepare, um, just throughout the week, the things that they notice, uh, the things we game plan for, and just the answers that they give me. And each play, whatever it is, if it's a if it's a play action, if it's a shot, checking out of it, whatever it may be, um, they give you all the answers. So as long as we're on the same page, I'm prepared, and you kind of know the look when you see it, you should be in a in a good play. And that's the worst thing is when you start a play the wrong way, and it's not the look that you want, and it's an uphill play from the beginning. That's when that's when it gets tough, and we stay out a lot of those. So it's it's been great. Gosh, how hard is it to stop a play like that <laughs> if everything else is perfect on the other side? Effort. <laughs> but the only, if you got if you got schemed up, it's going to take effort. And yeah, that's a hard way to stop it. Nobody could stop it on Sunday late in that fourth quarter for the Baltimore Ravens. We come back. My cause, my cleats. One of the great initiatives the NFL does. Who are these guys representing? We'll talk all about that when we are back live at String Sports Brewery. Jaguars All Access presented by Fields Auto Group. Great to see all the kids out here in Jagsland in Springfield. We'll be right back live on Fox 30. Live from your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields Auto Group. Never pay over MSRP. 
You know, there are a lot of cool things the NFL does or being a pro athlete gives you, and it's a platform sometimes. My cause, my cleats, is this weekend around the NFL, the Jags will wear cleats representing their initiatives in Detroit, and the Lions will do so as well. Welcome back, everybody. String Sports Brewery, this place rocking on a Thursday night after a big win for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Over here to see Jeff Lagerman. It's amazing here on a Thursday. Josh Allen, of course, with us. Trevor Lawrence with us as well. And guys, this is kind of a neat deal, and you've been doing this for a bit now, Josh. Uh, you're representing the Boys and Girls Club of Northeast Florida. How special does it mean to you to be able to represent somebody here in Jacksonville? Uh, so recently for Thanksgiving, Trevon and I went to the center uh, so we got to be up and close and personal with the kids, man, wonderful, br br like brilliant kids. They went to the game this, for the honor roll uh, kids. So just to be around them, man, great energy, great vibes, super smart, and they have bright futures. And so for me, man, just to bring awareness for them and to be there to support them is, is the best thing that I can say. All right, so both of you guys are Adidas guys. I like to see that. I was an Adidas guy back in the day. And Trevor, I'll be glad your to cause be is guy. a little bit different. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, I decided to work with Lift Jacks. You know, they're revitalizing the out east community here in Jacksonville, and um, really cool organization that has like four main areas that they work on. It's it's housing, it's financial vitality, health and wellness, um, and education. And I think that's it's really cool how they approach. It's like a full service aspect of trying to help a community, and that's I mean that's two blocks away from the stadium, from where we go to work every day, where we play, and it's such a big part of Jacksonville and. You know, the more I've learned about what Lift Jacks is doing, the more I wanted to be a part of it, and uh, they've been great. I will right, see them on your feet uh, come Sunday against the Detroit Lions. Good job by you guys and the rest of the Jacksonville Jaguars across the NFL. Now, you are two young guys, 23 years old, 25 years old. You're married. Uh, you have a bigger family now, uh, not yet for you. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah. you know, think about how much you guys can impact those professional athletes. So look at all the people here, the young kids. Uh, what's it like being... A player in the NFL balancing work and life, the, the game at home. Uh, I mean, I think if you don't manage it well, it can affect on and off the field. And I feel like the proper, if you mentally ready, are you physically ready? You can balance, have a work-life balance between the two. It's super. It's the best. It's the best thing that can ever happen. You know. So for me, I try to stay balanced. I try to keep my mindset on work and life together because you can't split it. I've learned you can't split it. So you have to be able to manage it both and be involved. My kid, I got my my family right here with me. They're involved, heavily involved in my career. You know, they've been right there, obviously, since day one. I uh, love them. They support me, and I support her as well. Yeah, so, Caitlin, the MVP ooh. in your house. Marissa, the MVP in your house. Uh... Yeah, we only have two dogs <laughs> running around right now, so a little, a little easier. But, yeah, she, she does a great job. And like he said, like, just managing both those things. And then also, um, I think, and the, like the team aspect of what we do and realizing, like, unselfishly, it's not about us. And in general, even when that comes to, like, fans and kids and just influence we have, and trying to use it the best you can and, and realize like that someone's always watching and just try to live your life um, above reproach at all times. And I think obviously Josh has done a great job with that and I try to do, try to do the same. All right, you guys have done a fantastic job. of When we come back, we take a look ahead to the Detroit Lions. The Lions and Jags in a big game in December and some familiar faces we'll see up there in Detroit. When we come back, let's check it out. Group, String Sports Brewery in Springfield. What a night here in Jacksonville. Live from your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields Auto Group, never pay over MSRP. All right, we can take a look at the headlines. Eyes on ETN. Trevor wants to, uh, Travis wants to play. He will play, he thinks, but the doctor's got to make sure he can play on Sunday. Hey, look at all the familiar faces. Mark Burnell, Todd Walsh, DJ Chark, all up there in Detroit. Of course, Marvin Jones, Jamal Agnew going back to Detroit. We got a 1 o'clock football game on Fox 30 and uh, Aiden Hutchinson against Trayvon Walker as well. Welcome back, Fanatics Players Corner. I'm invited in here on Jaguars All Access presented by Fields Auto Group. Brent Ortno, Jeff Lagerman, Josh Allen, Trevor Lawrence. Big game against Detroit, man. A lot on the line. That's got to be a lot of fun to be a part of in December. 
I know. I haven't been a part of a lot of them. I'm, su I'm, I'm super excited, really excited, man. I'm locked in. I think this whole team is really locked in for this matchup. We know how important it is for for us, you know, other side. They, they You know, it's important for them, but uh, it's about us, and we know that it's about us, and we're ready for it. And for your team, Trevor, you get this one, all of a sudden the ones that ensue have more meaning. No doubt, and that's, you know, that's, that's where we're at right now is uh, – Every, almost every game moving forward is a playoff game for us, and that's the mindset. And you know, we kind of put ourselves in this in this position by the, the way we played early in the season and, and dropping a few of those games. But um, we know where we're at. We kind of know what we have to do, and I think the whole team feels that sense of urgency. All right, good luck on Sunday in Detroit. Thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, how about we get it real loud in here one more time? On Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group. Heck of a night. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming out. We do it each and every Thursday. We'll see you in Detroit on Sunday. From your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, thanks for watching Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields Auto Group. Never pay over MSRP.